Hey everybody, this is Craig from VTEX and today we're gonna shine some light on Pond. So if you work in broadcast or you've done anything with fiber to the home or really fiber to anywhere, you may have had some questions on what's Pond and what are some of the components in it. Well, today you're in luck because we're gonna talk about that. So basic Pond architecture has three major components that we're gonna talk about, okay? So the first one is our OLT. So this is in our central office. This is our optical line terminal. So the information is coming through here into the network and it's gonna terminate on where our users are, right? On our ONT or our ONU. And that's just the optical network terminal or the optical network unit. So these kind of reside in like houses, business, uh, campus centers, hospitals anywhere the end user is. So what brings these two components together? That's what's in the network. So a lot of these services such as triple play services where you combine video, data, voice um, to a fiber to the home setup, uh, they run through the ODN. So what is that? That's our optical distribution network. And this is where some of our main focus is gonna be because that's really at the center of what we're talking about. Yes, it's important to understand how our terminals and our um, end units, they will actually be sending and receiving all the information and they're gonna house things such as the uh, transceivers, which we're gonna talk about in another video. But today we wanna really focus on what's in the network. So there's three main things that make up this network, right? So one, we have our fiber cables. Two, we're gonna have any of our connectors, such as patch panels or just mating connectors or adapters. Uh, and then the third major component is our splitters, which if you kind of think of it, without how the pond is split across multiple users, it really wouldn't be something that would be effective, an effective type of architecture. So when we look at this network, how does it all come together and why is it important? So one of the main concerns when we talk about passive networks, we wanna think about power consumption. What actually goes into powering all of this setup? So let's just go through together a little bit of math right so we're gonna kind of look at our network we're gonna add some of these things up all right so we take this to the squared and 256 and then we want to cube that and then once we go through all of those different things we get our result of zero watts when we it's a passive network it actually doesn't require any active component so when these two duke it out the passive and the optical um, active networks, that's the major difference. All of these components inside the network, they're all passive. They don't require any active DC connections to actually power them, which is really awesome because that helps us on cost. It helps us on quality, helps us on durability. It helps with the whole lifespan of this product that it doesn't require any of this maintenance that goes with um, an active optical network. So on this area, when these two fight together, Pond definitely has a clear advantage of that. So the next question a lot of people think about is, yeah, it's great, I'm getting these things to my home, but I keep hearing about these different streams, right? Not video streams or Netflix streams, but downstream versus upstream. So where am I in that pipeline? So just to kind of help you visualize this, think of, you know, mountain stream, right? So as the stream is running down, we have our house, okay? Maybe I'm not the best drawer, but hopefully everybody gets a picture of that. So all the information is coming down this stream to us. And everybody knows about this magical cloud, right? What's all up in the cloud? So we can also think about it this way. Data comes down from the cloud to us, the end user, and we want to send something back, we send it up. So it's the same thing in our stream analogy. Data is coming down and data is going up. So no matter where you are, being part of a pond network can totally help you when you're trying to do applications that are involved in fiber to the home. So uh, we hope this was helpful for you. 
One of the things we wanna hear from you is what kind of questions you have as you're doing different kind of uh, broadband or build out your network. You can reach us here in our New Jersey office. If you wanna send a comment either through this uh, video when you like it or post a comment or send us an email, if we pick your comment to actually answer your question, I'm gonna go ahead and buy you a cup of coffee. So start those questions off and we'll look forward to getting them and answering them. So until next time, see you then.